these are the next eight number of parts which is going to create in our next tutorial of steam engine part number four here we will cover this eight types of uh, parts so let's start to make these parts now here we are going to make the next part of eccentric hub let me choose right plane sketch and select here circle and select smart dimension and define the diameter 20 millimeter and extrude and extrude just only 7 millimeter okay now select this face sketch normal and here we will make one more circle now let's define this circle diameter 20 millimeter and the distance between from origin point 5 millimeter and let me define one more relation select the center point and origin point and make one relation vertical now see drawing is fully defined go to feature and extruded boss base and extrude up to 4 millimeter okay now just select the same face sketch choose circle and just uh, go to this uh, circular edge and you'll find a center point click and draw and let's define this diameter uh, this diameter 14 millimeter now see the drawing is fully defined so directly extrude extrude boss base and uh, this time we need length little bigger 19 millimeter okay that's it now let's define the hole here so select this end face sketch circle draw a circle here and let me choose this diameter uh, this diameter 6 millimeter go to feature and choose extruded cut we want to create a throughout hole okay let me define some chamfer Forty five degree. Okay, that's it. Now we need to make some key slots. So let me choose top plane A sketch and uh, take the normal position. Let me draw for center line. skip just drag it choose corner rectangle take little bigger exit now select this center line center construction line and these two outer lines and make relation symmetric that's it three point arc and draw one arc not arc create a half circle make sure it is half circle delete this middle line and uh, exit now it's time to define the length now this radius keep 2.5 millimeter and the distance from here to outer edge keep 14 millimeter this is by default 5 millimeter and this outer one anything we need to cut actually so select extruded cut take the isometric view reverse direction choose offset 10.2 millimeter you can see it's going in upward direction 19 uh, no this uh, not 19 it's through all 
throughout we ca we want to create the whole uh, key slot okay see this we created a key slot Or let's keep this part as it is. Part number eighteen. Eccentric hub. Save. Let's check other part. Here the next part of steam engine is eccentric strap rod. So let's start to create this rod. Right plane, a sketch. Choose your circle and draw a circle. And let me define this diameter 4 mm. And extrude. And we need to extrude up to 116, 60 mm. Keep end condition blind. Mid plane. Okay. Now we need to create thread but uh, we will do some cosmetic thread only. So let's start. Annotation cosmetic thread. Select this edge. And here select this face. ISO standard machine th threads M4 and blind length 8 millimeter. Select OK. Now here should be each uh, thread should be show. So you have to select go to option documents properties and click detailing and here you will find one empty box shaded cosmetic thread just click and ok. Now you can see how the threads looks. The same thing we will do it for the next opposite direction. Cosmetic thread. This. This all automatic already selected 8 millimeter M4. Okay. Now the last thing is chamfer. 0.5 millimeter and select this corner. 0.5 millimeter and 45 degree. Okay. Now let's save this part 19 <coughs> eccentric strap rod save Eccentric strap the next part of steam engine so we will start with front plane and let me draw two circles choose here circle and draw two circles okay now choose the smart dimension and define it outer one keeps 26 millimeter and inner one 20 millimeter go to feature and select extruded boss base here keep in direction one keep end condition mid plane so that it will ro move in both direction and uh, thickness I'll choose 6 millimeter okay take the normal position now here we see some difference select this circle and this point merge 
exit our centers are missed that's why choose top plane a sketch normal position circle and let me draw a circle and define this diameter 6 millimeter now go to feature and extrude keep offset 17 millimeter see keep di direction downward direction and select here up to next see up to next it will fixed up to this body select ok that's it now choose fillet keep radius 2 millimeter and select this corner select ok now select this face choose hole wizard and here we want to make some straight tapped hole so choose tab choose straight tap ISO standard tapped hole and M4 we, we like to make M4 thread and uh, blind condition ok 12.8 is is enough to throughout position and select this center position press escape key to exit this one see you can see the preview select ok documents property detailing okay now see cosmetic thread you can see the inside we will apply yellow satin finish plastic let's save this one this is the part number 20 eccentric strap save Eccentric strap, straight uh, strap head is the next part of beam engine. So let's start with front plane, a sketch, and uh, okay. Let me choose with corner rectangle. Okay. Let me draw. Exit. Now select this center line and make relation horizontals and we need to create one more relation select origin point and this line make coincide let me draw two circles here I'll choose here trim entities power trim and drag just undo the process trim entity trim this one ok let's draw one again the circle it's deleted due to some reason choose the smart dimension and now here we need to define the length 14 millimeter 7 millimeter select ok now select this line and make relation uh, ok so we missed some relations and uh, origin point horizontal that's it three point five millimeter four millimeter okay now you 
if you don't like just delete this unnecessary lines or it's okay fully defined the sketch calculate okay it's over defined so just undo the process and delete this line now we need to create again some relation horizontal uh, we deleted some okay now it's seems fully defined 3.5 okay now select extruded boss base keep and condition mid plane and we need to extrude up to 8 mm okay now select this face sketch normal draw here a circle and let's define the diameter 7 mm select extruded cut keep end condition 8 mm here select flip side to cut okay see fillet keep 1 mm select inside edge okay again fillet select this two edges outer edges 1 mm okay and uh, let me choose some chamfer 0.5 mm i'll select this inside face better to choose this this one okay and uh, now let's choose this one whole wizard keep straight tap iso standard and tapped hole here we need to put some tapped hole m4 and keep the end condition blind condition uh, we need to make depth only 10 mm nothing more go to position and select this center point press escape key to free this mouse now select okay see this is the our tapped hole now if you want to see the cosmetic thread just go to op option documents property detailing and click here shaded cosmetic thread okay select here okay part number 21 is eccentric strap head save next part of steam engine is piston rod so let me start choose with right plane sketch choose your circle and draw a circle from origin point even you can define the diameter in your uh, left hand side parameters in bottom you will see it there uh, radius you have to define the radius 2 mm let me choose smart dimension Uh, this is perfect. Two means four millimeter the diameter. Extrude. End condition keep mid plane and the length we we like to make eighty four millimeter. Select OK. Now here we need to create some cosmetic thread. So just go to insert annotation cosmetic thread. I'll choose here first edge. First you have to choose edge. Then you have to select start. from face or plane so we will choose this face iso standard this is our standard machine tap m4 and blind length 8 mm okay now we are not able to see the cosmetic thread so how we will do this one go to option 
documents properties detailing and click here this shaded cosmetic thread ok now see the same thing we will repeat for the opposite direction same thing ok make chamfer 0.5 mm 45 degree select ok now let's save this part part number 2 piston rod Now this is the our eccentric strap head part. Now the same part we will use for the our next component. This is called piston rod head. We will use the same dimension and everything. So we will save this one as a piston rod head. So only we will do one thing. Just define the change the color. Now click save as and uh, let's select. 23 point and uh, this one we will save as piston head piston rod head we just change the color to ad identify both parts are different but the dimensions are same Here the next part of beam engine is piston support beam. So let's start with right plane, a sketch, circle, draw a circle, keep diameter 6 mm and select extrude. Take reverse direction and we need the length 56 mm. Isometric view, you can see here okay now select top plane a sketch normal draw one center line exit choose your line now or better to make corner rectangle exit now let's define this select both the end lines and center line make relation symmetry now select this edge and this line and make relation collinear that's it delete this inside line choose your three point arc draw half circle a sketch select both the line equal circle and let me draw one circle now let's define this uh, ok let's draw one more circle now it's time to define first define the gap 15 millimeter radius 4.5 millimeter 4.5 millimeter this diameter and this one 4 millimeter and distance from here to this end and 76 millimeter now see the drawing is fully defined see select extruded boss base keep end condition mid plane and 6 millimeter only we need thickness 6 millimeter 
you can see the preview here select ok fill it 2 millimeter and select this end ok satin finish plastic let's save this part 24 piston support beam piston support ro rod this is the next part right plane a sketch circle and let me draw a circle with 4 millimeter keep the diameter 4 millimeter and extrude keep end condition mid plane and the length will we like to make 105 millimeter keep isometric view ok go to insert annotation cosmetic thread select first age then face then standard ISO machine thread M4 uh, blind length 8 millimeter okay now we are not able to see the cosmetic thread so what we will do th in this condition let's go to option documents property choose detailing select here co shaded cosmetic thread okay now the same thing we will repeat in opposite direction this face everything is same okay uh, we will add some chamfer at both the end 0.5 millimeter and 45 degree angle okay let me save this part part number 25 piston support rod save so these parts are enough for the part number fourth 